now think big. So big, in fact, that the enthusiasts of our next hobby can't even fit it into their own back gardens. They have to take space from someone else's backyard in order to house the double-deckers that they so lovingly renovate. This, bus, then, this would so. have been built in 1975 in Inchicore. Okay. And um, what colour was it then? It would have been tan. You can see the little flecks oh, right. of the original colour that it used to be way back then. Tell me a little bit about how you came to work on this bus. I suppose there was two main reasons. When we looked at it first, the plan was that we wanted to get some sort of a promotional vehicle for Phantom, for the radio station. We thought this would be an ideal mobile stage. And the second part of it was that my dad had been a busman all his life and had worked on buses like this in Donnybrook for 30 years. So kind of when the opportunity came up to get our hands on one of these, we figured, yeah, let's give it a try. It would have worked as a normal service bus for the best part of 20 years and then after that it became a tour bus so they would have taken off the majority of the roof uh, and sent it around Dublin on tours and then at the very end of its life they needed to trim trees so they took everything out of it then and then they just went around with platform and men with chainsaws. Now pardon me I don't want to be rude here but um it looks like it still needs an awful lot of work. <laughs> I think that would be a very fair point to make. <laughs> We thought initially it might be a fairly short term project, but then as time went on, it be obviously became a much longer term project. What it mainly needs at the moment is it needs a lot of just sort of general preventative maintenance. Because it's a 30 year old bus that's sitting outside in a, in a yard, it needs quite a lot to make sure that it doesn't fall to pieces or rust to bits. It's got new electrics, it's got new floors, those sort of things. But really what it needs is it needs half a roof and a new engine. And is it all about just escaping from the wife? It's partly that, <laughs> yes. It's probably, <laughs> I'd say about 60% that's what it is. And then, you know, 40% escapism from everything else. So as Simon continues to work on his bus, I'm off to meet another man who has fully restored another double-decker. Hello Des, how are you? You're very welcome. Thank you very much. This is your bus, in your possession yeah. since 2003. Three, yeah. Tell me a little bit about its origins and how you got interested in bus restoration. It was built in 1977 by CIE. It was built in Dublin uh, at Spa Road. CIE then operated it until 1995 or thereabouts, and then it was withdrawn and a group of uh, lads who were interested in preservation bought the bus. Um, and I subsequently bought it from them in 2003. Is it fair to say you have a lifelong interest in buses? I mean, you yeah. part of your life was spent as a bus driver. Oh, that's right, yeah. Well, I've always been interested in transport in general and uh, always, I've always taken note of buses and used to like travelling on them as a small child or whatever. Uh, and then one time um, I was out of a job in the 80s and saw an ad in the paper for a Dublin bus driver. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, okay, give it a go. Now, you left your job as a bus driver behind, but what is the interest in tinkering around with old buses? I don't know, how, how do you explain it? I mean, some people like their, their old cars, others like to playing soccer or whatever. I just just like tinker with the old bus. There's a, there's a satisfaction there. At the moment now, it seems to be uh, Wednesday evenings where we're, we're in our little workshop and we're doing whatever has to be done. Or Sometimes it might be just drinking tea and having a biscuit, but other times we, we do work. Buses such as these are a source of great interest to people because really they, they trigger all sorts of memories. That's right, yeah, yeah. And it's more so actually with the older buses, uh, with, the, with the open platform at the back, people really kind of go all, oh, do you remember those or whatever. These ones, I suppose, it's just basically a box on wheels. But the old... They're not old enough yet, Not think. quite old enough, exactly. <laughs> the older ones have, certainly have more character about them, you know. We, we have another, a little yellow one, and everybody says, ah, yeah, I went to school on those, you know. And so every, it's like different people have their, their own different memories of why they remember the bus. Hopefully now we can bring the buses to uh, various shows and vintage rallies throughout the year. So then as the shows come up, we have ones that we know will get, get us there and get us back. Yeah. 